Hi everyone, this is Michael Rock. More and more class and users are joining our community, so I've decided to record this short series of videos for those who just started to use Classin and wants to get more familiar with features and some basic stuff in this platform. I've decided to divide this series into three different videos and in the first video today I want to show you what can you do before lesson, in the second video in lesson and in the third video after lesson. So let's dive into class in. All right, first let's click on the course tab and explore lesson calendar. Under each date you can see small numbers that represent how many lessons do you have that day. As you see I have two lessons on Friday so let's click on the date and check more detailed information. That day I will attend the first lesson as a teacher and another lesson as a student. If you click on the lesson, you'll be able to see lesson details. Now let's upload and sort lesson materials by clicking on Cloud tab. Cloud Drive allows you to get access to your materials from any device if you log in into your profile, so I highly recommend you to upload everything to your drive. Let's upload different materials to my drive. To do that, simply click Upload button in the down left corner. I've created a special folder on my local drive where I keep different materials for my lessons. Choose files that you need and click Open. You can upload PowerPoint presentations, images, music, videos and also EDB files. If you don't know what is an EDB file, don't worry, I'll explain it in a moment. Alright, we've uploaded all the materials to Cloud Drive and now it's time to explore Blackboard Editor. To do that, let's click on that small icon in the left down corner. Let's upload our materials into the Blackboard. To do that, click on the Cloud icon and click on My Drive tab. Click on each file to upload it to Blackboard. To position your images, click on Move icon. To add shapes and lines, click on the paintbrush icon. To erase different parts of shapes and lines, use Eraser. To add text, click on Text icon. Once you've finished, it's time to save your Blackboard template. I've mentioned EDB files today already, so in class in Blackboard templates that you can save and edit called EDB files. You can save EDB files on your local storage or in Cloud Drive. To save it, click on Teaching Tools icon and choose Save Share EDB File. Save it on your local drive or Cloud Drive. Let's choose Cloud Drive for this time. Once it's saved, you can use it in your further lessons. So, when next time you have a lesson, go to Cloud Drive and choose your EDB file. And the last thing I want to show you today is a chat feature. Every class that you have in class in has a chat where you not only can communicate with teacher and other students, but also share different materials from your local and cloud drives. Let's share that EDB file that we've just created with a student. To do that, simply click on folder icon. Choose EDB file and click done. Now student in this class will receive your EDB file and would be able to use it the same way you do. Alright guys, thank you for watching and if you enjoyed this video, please hit that subscribe button and also if you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section. So that's it, have a good day and I'll see you in the next video.